And we are back. Bears franchise. And in the last episode, we lost to the Broncos 31-24, but that wasn't what we actually did. What we actually did was play the Packers. Well, we watched the Packers, and we lost 14-3. Uh, putting us to 8-7, and seven, so we're on a bit of a losing streak. But it's okay for this week. Because we have a very simple path to the playoffs. Win and in. That's for this week only. If we beat the Panthers, we are into the playoffs. If we lose, then week 18, it's not a win and in. Uh, well, it could be, but there's a chance it's not. So, we control our own destiny with this game this week. No matter what, we're not eliminated. So... That's fine. We have a weekly strategy to go over, though. We have... We're going to defend the short or the inside run. They have Christian McCaffrey. We know what they're going to do. Looking at their team, we're going to probably throw it short. Pass for two touchdowns. I like that. 30 or less. No, let's go 20. 200. And 15 first downs. And if you're wondering why this is uploaded on a Monday, uh, turns out not going on vacation yet. Uh, my grandma broke her hip, and uh, yeah, we're not able to go now because of that. So it's going to get moved to later in the year, probably around late July, early August time. So it won't interfere with anything, kind of, but you know. That's why these videos are going to be uploaded, so don't be, that's why. Injury report, we're completely healthy. Panthers, RAP, we'll go ahead and check them. Oh, they're missing. Ooh, Christian McCaffrey, Byron Randall, and DJ Reed. And they put Christian McCaffrey on IR, so he's going to be out for a bit longer. And what we just got, so we have a... We have a safe way in now. Uh, Green Bay also holds a tiebreaker over us with a uh, division record. So we have to finish with a better record than them in order to beat them in the division race. If we tie, it goes to them. And I think we're going to hold off on negotiating for the rest of these players until week 18. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Monday Night Football, winning in. Doesn't get that much more complex than that. New Orleans defeats Philly 20-14. to Philly more than likely, I'd say, ending up with the first overall pick. Here's Darius Cohn so far. And in my opinion, he's franchise tagged, more than likely. Because he has no interest in re-signing, so we're probably going to end up giving him the tag. And with that as well, we're going to part ways with Paul Walton, more than likely as well. So he's going to find himself on a new team with a new opportunity, potentially. Or he may solidify himself as a backup. But I'm sure there's going to be teams willing to trade for him. He's not the, the stat type of guy. He is a winning quarterback. He will win you games. Gonna be a handoff now. Kenneth Walker gonna get a gain of five or no seven, excuse me. Second and three at the forty-four. 
Also, in case you're curious, Mario Kart 2 is coming out this Thursday. So, uh, I'm recording this on Friday. It's coming out on Monday. So, in three days for you guys. But a loss of four in the sack. Giants defeat Seahawks 42-21. That's not great. Although, it doesn't matter if we win. We're lofting it up on third and seven incomplete. And, yeah, we're going to punt the ball away. Buffalo defeats New England 28-21. Out at the 17, not horrific. Here's Matt Corral. Just like the Packers, we've had the Panthers numbers uh, for a few years now. We've played them kind of late into the season and in the playoffs. Uh, no different week 17. But also, we did lose to the Packers last time. So maybe history repeats itself with having teams numbers. And we're really struggling. Third and seven now at the 21. Uh, Kansas City defeats Vegas 42 to seven. And gonna be short by three yards. So we're gonna force a free now, I'm pretty sure. So in our final season, in terms of watching, we're gonna, we're, like, we're gonna take a simulation approach come next season. Jaguars defeat Dolphins 26-20. Uh, this is our uh, kind of our last year to watch our team make a Super Bowl run. And I didn't think we were going to be a playoff team, but it looks like we have a chance to limp into the playoffs. Just barely make it. There's uh injuries. Komet is our only offensive player right now. And Kenneth Walker. But Komet has all three of our uh, catches right now. There goes Kenneth Walker getting a gain of nine. Green Bay defeats Minnesota 35-21. So now, if we lose this game, we're eliminated from winning our division. Kenneth Walker breaking a tackle, going to get up to around 29. Atlanta defeats Indianapolis 31-14. Kenneth Walker going to go nowhere. Going to lose three. Dallas defeats the Rams 42-7. to They're trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Really coming down to the final few playoff spots for us. In the NFC. Arizona defeats the Troy 21 7. That doesn't really matter. That's two teams that we made from the playoffs. Moody with a nasty spin move up to the 11. Uh, a lot of mediocre teams around 500 fighting for these like final few playoff spots in the NFC compared to the AFC, where it's a lot of dominant teams who are projected to finish with double digit wins. Broncos defeat Steelers 35-17. So, and when I say, I'd say Tampa Bay is the only real powerhouse. Houston defeats Cincinnati 36-35. Tampa Bay, I'm pretty sure they are almost guaranteed the one seed. They just need to win or a commander's loss in each of the final two weeks, whatever one. 
just one of them. Those were the first core stats that are curious. So, they pretty much have it on lock, unless they have a horrible choke job. Third and five, Komet is going to get into the end zone. And we're going to strike first, taking a 7 off. And we assume the extra point is good. And it is. So the open beta, or closed beta, I should say, Madden 24 is out now. Uh, I don't have it, so I can't really give my opinion on it. I'm not going to get it because it's closed beta. It's not... Oh, Washington defeats Tampa Bay, so... They're keeping it alive for Week 18. Battle for the one spot Week 18 between those two. I don't got anything about closed beta. I'm just hearing a lot of things. And I don't know if I'm allowed to share them, so just for my uh, safety of Madden and maybe my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna keep quiet. That's that's kind of it. Wide open is DJ Moore across midfield to the 44. First down. Uh, but what I can talk about uh, first, just to beat Titans 21-20 is what will be a Madden 24 that's already been confirmed by EA. So, this is fine. All right. This was in, like, their, their like, trailer and, like, their notes about, like, what to expect. I'm mainly going to talk about franchise. There's Superstar Mode. I am not familiar with that. I was not around when Superstar Mode was, was a thing. So, I'll probably get into that, maybe. It's apparently going to be, like, a, a, a face of the franchise, but, like not speaking of that's a cool interesting thing uh i've heard there's cross play but i have heard it's for head to head and superstar mode in one other mode so it's not gonna be a franchise unfortunately but I, i'm cool with that it's a step now if they don't have it in madden 25 then then, you know, we're looking at issues. Unless if crossplay is really bad with EA. Then Madden 25, I expect them to use it to fix it. And then Madden 26 have crossplay for everything. Because if Madden 25 crossplay is also horrible, say Madden 24 hypothetically is and then Madden 25 follows the same route instead of getting fixed then we have issues that's gonna be a first down what else for franchise specifically there's gonna be like whole new training mini games that like I think will help you with XP obviously I'm not really gonna be involved with that because I potentially uh because I don't want to do that because I don't want to control what my players do I want them to kind of be their own player and be you know less user like that's the whole point granted I'll probably get into it on like a separate franchise that I usually have I usually have one that I like occasionally play in which I don't really do anymore but I usually do one at the start of every Madden just to kind of see what's going on but actual stuff, restructuring contracts, I don't believe that means pay cuts. I think that means converting, uh, uh, I don't, I think it's just gonna, I don't know how to say it, be money-wise, like, turning your salary into a signing bonus, because signing bonus does not contribute to the salary cap. Only the salary does. The signing bonus is usually out of the pocket of the team. Compared to each team having a set amount of cap space every year. They have the same amount, so it's it's just some teams start with less and stuff because they have higher payroll players. So, yeah. There's also, so that's going to be restructuring. 
I don't know what that's gonna mean. I don't know if they're gonna mean like, oh, commit again. If they're adding pay cuts potential, or you can like negotiate a pay cut, or you can add years and reduce years. You can add void years to where you can cut them for like little, and like save money by cutting them in certain periods. I don't know. I'm interested to see what that means. But if I had to take a guess, it's probably just going to be converting salary into signing bonus. Then there's also counter offers. So there's kind of already counter offers. Like, there's kind of like when you're trying to re sign or sign someone. They're going to have a like a price recommendation, and then you can like up it or lower it depending on how bad you want them and you know how much money you have and are willing to spend. So if someone's you know you feel like you can get for cheaper, you know lower. What I believe that means is you can submit like probably one offer. You're gonna have that set offer again, is what I imagine. So I say one year five mil with a 2.5 mil signing bonus so one year 7.5 mil. You could probably do that, you know, change it and then submit that offer. And then if they decline it, I feel like that's going to mean they're gonna have the option to kind of try and find a middle ground or they're just going to be like, nah, I'm not doing that. You're trying to lowball me. I'm not interested if you're not interested in me. Because you clearly aren't willing to give me what I want. Something along the lines of that, I feel like. Where they could try and meet you in middle ground. Say they're trying to get 5 mil or you, they're trying to get 10 mil a year and you're offering like 8 mil. They'll like be like, okay, 9 mil. Take it or leave it. Something like that. Where, you know, try and meet middle ground. I think that'd be very cool. There's apparently going to be new coaching trees. And I don't know if that means like you're going to be able to choose like different types of coaching trees. Kind of depending on a scheme. Or like your positions. Or if it's just going to mean like there's going to be new ones. Like these ones we have now they are just going to like replace with like different things. Like, there's the, uh, boost the likelihood of player signing in free agency. Maybe they just change the positions or they try and narrow it down. Because there's, like, running back, fullback, or wide receiver, tight ends as one. Maybe they, like, separate them into being their own. So, like, one's for running or wide receiver, one for tight end. I can see that being something. Sorry about that, my suitcase just fell that I still have in here because, you know, I was going to pack, what's today, Friday? So I was going to pack yesterday, as I'm recording this, on the 8th, but on the 6th, which was my grandma's birthday, she broke her hip. That sucks, because on her birthday, really. There's the first half, that's what curious. So that's what I can see Madden kind of doing with those. Here are some games to look at that, like, could mean a lot. Eagles Saints, that was a battle for like draft picks, not really much else. Cardinals Lions, another one that was a battle for draft picks or positioning, I should say. And finally, the last game that was really big, I would say Buccaneers Commanders should be the highlight of one, who knows. They're going to say Browns 49ers, uh... I don't know what the Browns record is. I know the 49ers are kind of are somewhere in the playoffs. I think they were at the four seed last time I checked. Well, I guess that means something, potentially. Here are the Bears when it comes down to throwing the ball short. How did I know? Because I picked up the game plan. 
And here are the Panthers when it comes down to from the ball short. Both teams had similar game plans. Without further ado, second half is underway. Uh, I believe Bears receive. No, Panthers do. Going to be returned up to around 14. Great job there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else they did. It's been a few days now. Let me go on Twitter and go to where they have the link at so I can just read it directly. That's going to be intercepted off of the deflection. Great coverage there by Bosa, who is playing coverage. And then Sean Murphy bonding going to get into the end zone. Of course, EA doesn't, or Madden doesn't have any recent tweets. Pre-order. Is this it? The gridiron notes? This sounds like it. Gameplay, that doesn't really mean anything. Fan favorite mini games. Moving obstacles and destructible targets and franchise training camp or weekly strategy. Uh, streamline team relocation. So I'm not going to use that for relocation because I don't see any teams really moving cities. I've heard rumors that maybe Cleveland might be looking at it. And I still think the Chargers would benefit from moving, but I doubt they will because why would you get rid of arguably the best stadium? But I don't see either of them moving anytime soon, so that's not going to be anything. But in case you're interested in that, you there are new cities and teams' names slash logos as well. And uniforms as well that come with. I'm going to imagine it's still set. Like, you're not going to be able to pick your own logos and names and stuff. They're going to be, like, predetermined. Well, not predetermined, but they're going to give you, like, options. Like, the London Bulldogs was, like, a big one. It's going to be like that, where they have, like, the names and stuff already determined and the uniforms. You just got to pick based on your location, so. There's a new draft generator. There's now six trade slots. How did I forget about that? From what I've heard from Bengal, who's a fellow YouTuber, uh, he says there's you can trade up to three players in the six trades and up to six draft picks. So what I'm guessing that means is you can't just like get rid of all these players so like you're gonna have to be maximized to three players per trade it sounds like and they also added an extra year so now theoretically for Madden 24 it's gonna start with Madden with 2024 draft picks you're gonna be able to do 20, 20, 20, 2024 2025 and 2026 picks instead of what would have just been 2024 and 2025 so you get an extra year to work with now which uh I feel like that's kind of cheesy because a lot of franchises I know don't tend to make it very long. So it's kind of cheesy to be able to trade future draft picks if you know you're just going to use the one year. And then there's new commissioner tools. I don't know what that means. It doesn't really go in depth with that. Uh, build your future using free agency by restructuring contract and making 
counter offers. I could talked about that already. There goes, I believe, Clarence Lindsay is his name. So, yeah. Old Death Note mini games are also playable from the main menu. That really doesn't mean anything uh, to do a franchise, but that's also nice that you don't have to have a franchise just to play those mini games. Oh, it's intercepted by two players. Ultimate team, we're not really going to go over. But they are trying to do stuff. They've changed QB awareness, ball carriers, AI, blocking AI, uh, awareness for defensive backs, and then post play emotion enhancement. So I'm guessing like celebrations, kind of. But like, you don't get to control the celebrations like you normally do. Like when you get a big run or a touchdown, you like can move your, your analog stick up, down, left, to right to pick like team celebration, dance. I think Swagger's another one. And then there's one or more. So stuff like that. I'm guessing. So like, maybe you'll, like, they'll do like animations once they get a sack. Like little cutscene type things. I think that could be cool for players. But yeah. And then they change the skeletons. Like Sapien Technology, they change the player's skeletons to represent real life player motions. I don't know why they don't already have that. I feel like they could do what 2K does, where you literally have players go inside like a warehouse and put on this like full suit that like tracks all their motions and stuff so like you can have the most what a catch by like, Jermaine Rivers to have the most realistic stuff uh, and they're kind of also and for the PS4 and Xbox what is it one I think they're kind of leaving you behind. They're giving, you, they're still giving you Madden, but you're you're not getting Superstar mode. You're still stuck with Face of the Franchise. You don't get crossplay. I don't remember what Madden it was. I believe Madden 21 was the first next gen one, which I believe only improved graphics. And I think Madden 22 was kind of where they started improving like gameplay stuff, like. They added, like, advantages, like the things you see at the top above the scoreboard. There's the stats for those of you who are curious. Uh, the momentum stuff. So, currently, we probably have momentum. Yeah, we have max momentum. I don't think that's on uh, PS4 and Xbox. And so, they're kind of leaving you behind with these new features, which makes sense. Because, like, Madden 21 was the first, like, cross or first, like, next-gen one where it's like you've you've had man 21 22 23 and now 24 like i'm pretty sure you might get 25 but after that i think they're gonna be moving on to like next gen exclusive instead of because like i hate to be that guy but like this is costing them money a majority of people who play this game are going to get the new additions. So you're essentially just getting roster updates if you're uh, buying new Maddens now. You're getting Madden 23 but with roster updates. So like, you're getting the Madden 24 rosters. I, I don't want to sound mean, but like, if you don't have a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox or a PC, like, but you're trying to play Madden, that's kind of an issue because I would not be surprised. Like, I still have a friend who has a PS4, and that's the thing. He's fine with it. Because he's not missing out on anything. There's not any big games he wants that's coming out exclusively on PS5. They're coming out with PS4 variants as well. So. That's not an issue for him. Meanwhile, for me, I have to get a PS5. Or I want one in order to keep up with Madden. 
I want to be able to play the, the newest versions because, ooh, let me tell you, this Madden, not that fun. I'm sorry, EA, but it's true. Oh, we leave by 18. They have a guy wide open down to the 21. So, like, essentially, you have to get a PS5 to play Madden soon. I'm going to assume that's going to go with all the other sports games, with NBA 2K, FIFA, NHL, WWE, PGA, MLB. Like, I'm going to assume that that's going to happen with all of them. And I'm going to assume you're essentially at the end of the line with uh, the PS4 sports games. So, it sucks that you're going to have to spend like 500 bucks or something to get a new console to play a ge like specific games. But, I mean, it, it was bound to happen, in my opinion. It's happened with the PS... It's happened with all old-gen consoles. So this one isn't like, you know, the first one. They don't make Maddens on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 anymore. That's going to be an interception. Who is that? That is Tyree Brooks. And with three minutes left to go, we're up 18. I think we have solidified our playoff ticket granted I don't know where we're gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be like I do know we have the potential to get up to the three seed though I believe I know Green Bay's at the free seed uh, and we play San Fran next week so we'll have the tiebreaker over San Fran if we beat them and then we just need to hope Green Bay loses. And I don't know who Green Bay's playing, but... 4 from one just punt the ball away. I doubt they're, they're going to try anything. If it was two scores, I'd understand. But they're down 18 points. What a punt as well. Like... They could theoretically get a field goal and two touchdowns. They got a minute 14, and if they're looking for a touchdown this drive, they need 85 yards with only three timeouts. Like, yeah, they can try, but I'd imagine they're not going to be. But this also sucks for them, because this could potentially knock them out of the playoffs. Like, I'm not talking about, like, they aren't in the playoffs. Actually, they are. They're the seventh seed. We're the sixth seed, I believe. Maybe the five. But I think this is going to knock them out of the playoffs. Like, they're going to be eliminated. Like, because I know Dallas was, like, the only team who was really competing. Who wasn't already in the playoffs. And Carolina is going to drop to 7-9 and nine compared to Dallas's 8-8. Eight and eight. So, I don't know. If Carolina has a tiebreaker over Dallas, yeah, they're still in. But if they don't, they're they're out. So there's really, there was really only one team fighting for a playoff spot who wasn't already in it in the NFC, at least. What a catch. In the AFC, there's it's a whole battle because there are a bunch of teams who are above 500 or around there. Just kind of competing for legit, like, one playoff spot. It's It's weird. I'm probably going to mute for the rest of the video. My sister's in my room. She just clearly doesn't understand what a closed curtain. That specifically I have closed only when I'm doing something important or sleeping. Under means, so. Yeah. But I'll keep talking until she gets back in here. She just went through my door to go out to the hallway. I don't know why. And that might be P.I. They're going to get it at the one with RJ Park. They have five seconds. If they run it, they're screwed. If, you know, if they don't get it. So they can gamble on the run. 
And they're not going to. One. With one second left, they get another play. And now they really don't care what they do, because they have one second, and it's not like the play matters, so they could just run it. They're going to pass, and they're going to score a touchdown. So they're just going to run up the score. Or, which I can't blame them. If they need a, if they need a tiebreaker for, like, point differential, you know, I can't blame them for trying to do that. The Seattle Sea Dragons, talking about the X-Valve, did that, where they just kept running up the score. When they're like in week nine and ten, so it would be harder for St. Louis to make it, and it worked. They ended up having like I want to say a very easy time because they blew out their week ten opponent. Both teams did, but they just didn't give the Battle Hawks any room to catch up. That's going to do it for this episode. Though we're gonna advance the next week, where we'll find out if we have punched our ticket into the postseason. We have some players upgrade. We'll go ahead and do that. Jordan Mylana, only one. So we're going to go ahead and give you pass protector. I'll put you up to a 90, 93 with morale. Uh, and do we have an X next to our name? Let's go here. We do. So. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're the five seed, or no, we're the six seed, because of the Giants. The Giants are uh, in the same division as the Cameron. So we're the six seed, four nine to the four seed, and then Cowboys are the seven, but they haven't clinched yet. So the Panthers just need to win and the Cowboys to lose. And if they're playing head to head, that'll be a great game. Now, I would not be surprised if that is on. They're playing. Tennessee and Dallas is playing the Jets, who are pro they've clinched the playoffs what the Jets have, but they're probably playing for a seeding. Jaguars are the one, Chiefs are the two, Jets are the three, Bengals are the four, Chargers are the five, Steelers are the six, Texans are the seven with ten wins. So no matter what, all seven teams in the AFC are gonna have double digit wins. Then you have the Colts, the Bills, the Broncos, and the Dolphins fighting for that last spot. So that should be fun. I would have probably put the J the uh the Jets Jets Cowboys at the latest instead of Carolina Tennessee. Cause realistically it doesn't matter what happens with Carolina if Dallas wins. Like no matter what and granted, it might not matter what happens with Dallas either. But they could, Dallas could also play for seeding as well, potentially. And the Jets are definitely playing for seeding. So I feel like that would have been the right Monday night game. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. We have at least two more games left to go. We have the wild card and then this 49ers game. I hope you enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next time, which will be on Wednesday with this one. And remember, there will be a Mario Kart to us on Thursday. Uh, I finally played the uh, the DLC again because I didn't get three stars on a on all the like the Grand Prix on them, so I, I just went ahead and did that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I did. See you next time. Goodbye.